good evening. So I'm going to, this is a slide of 15 things that say about one topic. <laughs> so you know, you know the phrase, I could fix him. Yeah. <laughs> it's a slide of them um, where it's like that, but replies to it. First one is, I could fix him. Uh, good for you, I guess. I could be the only thing he's truly afraid of. And then, where's the where are we, where are we I could fix him. I could break him. I could snap that fucker in half. <laughs> That's funny. I could fix him. I could make him worse. Why? Why is all this DIY? I just want to stand over and see what he could possibly fuck up next. <laughs> it's just. I wouldn't fix him. I'd put him in a small cardboard box and shake it very, very hard. <laughs> I don't know why they just really, really got me. <laughs> I could fix him. Well, I could watch him spiral into bloodlust and madness instead. And that would be significantly more fun. Bloodlust, what's that? Like, lust for blood. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like if it made more sense to me, it would be funnier. But that one I don't get. But it, like, like bloodlust is like you kill someone and you oh, want more. Oh, bloodlust. Yeah. You need to enunciate because I thought you were saying bloodless. Oh! <laughs> this is how we got into the gushes situation. <laughs> well, I could watch him spiral into bloodlust and madness instead, right. which would be significantly more fun. <laughs> this one just makes me laugh. I couldn't fix him, but I think I could top him. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I could fix him. But why am I doing everything? <laughs> I could fix him, but I'm busy. <laughs> I could fix him, but he couldn't even fix a fucking tie. <laughs> I could fix him, but I'm not Bob the Builder. <laughs> I could fix him, but no. <laughs> <laughs> I could fix him, but... <laughs> Don't have the time. <laughs> I could fix him, yeah? Well, I can accept him as he is. You don't like the murder? Grow up. The atrocities are a part of him, and I've decided they're funny. <laughs> I saw the best thing today. It was this one girl, and she was like, oh, when men ask me, oh, are you on your period? I say, I woke up in a pool of my own blood this morning, and if you don't shut up, you'll go to sleep in a pool of your own blood. <laughs> well, it was, like, worded better than that, but it was funny. Go to sleep in a pool of <laughs> your blood. <laughs> you, man. <laughs> this man can't be fixed. I can fuck him, though. Maybe that will calm him down. <laughs> This one killed me. It said, I went for a poo in Starbucks the other day and fell up before Lester's glasses. So I tried them on while I was sitting down. He came back and I forgot to lock the door. It was a really awkward exchange. <laughs> he spoke way too fast. Oh. <laughs> I went for a poo in Starbucks the other day. It fell up before he left his glasses. So I tried them on whilst I was sitting on the toilet. I'd forgotten the lock. He came back and I'd forgotten to lock the door. <laughs> a really awkward exchange. <laughs> I thought you were just going to say that he just opened the door. That would have been funnier <laughs> if he was taking a shit in his glasses. <laughs> I'm going to make one of those diagrams that uses circles. Then, probably tomorrow. <laughs> okay. First day as bartender. Pina colada, please. Okay. Can you make it virgin? Yes, I know how to make it. <laughs> Can you make it virgin? <laughs> Can you make it virgin? <laughs> ah, people! Is it locked? Are we locked in? No. Yeah. I don't, I don't, want, to do, I don't want to do that. The next one I might be offended. I don't care. <laughs> they were offended. Well, you so... At a job interview, can you perform under pressure? I'm not sure I know all the lyrics, but it goes not. <laughs> <laughs> Girlfriend, now don't start word com don't start weird conversations with my dad tonight. Me, fine. Ah, oh, rugs, the coward's carpet. <laughs> <laughs> That's something that we would say. <laughs> Thank you.
I'm doing. Mm -hmm. I saw something flash on the plastic. Rip me out of the plastic. <laughs> <laughs> Rat bastard is a really funny insult to me <laughs> because it implies that you are not only a rat, you're a rat born out of rodent wood. <laughs> that one really gets me. <laughs> Imagine the rat parents being like, I'm disowning you. What? The rat parents? Disowning the rat mother for being pregnant out of rat wedlock. Oh, I just thought it meant the baby. <laughs> this is not what it means. Ooh. Stranger, your dog is unusual looking. Me. Yeah, he's interbred. <laughs> Duck. I'll tell you who else is interbred. <laughs> I need to see that like like anim anima an anatomized animated. That's it. <laughs> Me at a theatre to see a play. I hope there's a lot of ado. Host, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado. Me, son of a. <laughs> You could do that one where it's like, I hope there's like, I hope there's a lot of ado. Welcome to much ado about nothing. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> much ado. Oh, God. I'm going to make myself laugh at least. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was funny, but like it was already it? just happened. <laughs> I feel like it's. I feel like it should be more common for us to say, "Ah, rats!" When something goes wrong. I rat like bastard! It. You rat bastard! <laughs> I feel like. I like a good old. Oh. Damn it! Ah, piglet! <laughs> ah, stink! <laughs> what did you call it? <laughs> pillock! What? He's such a pillock. <laughs> Oh, that's that is a, a top <laughs> ten. What even? What even some... does that constitute as? A pillock. It's just like a fucking idiot. Wait, does it does it relate to anything? I don't. I don't know the. I was gonna say the heritage. <laughs> the origins. Yeah, I don't really know the origin of the word, but saying like, oh, fucking pillock. You pillock. <laughs> I feel like that's a really good road rage because you can really enunciate it. Yeah, I think that and bollocks. What did my grandma used to say when she got into like road rage? <laughs> when she got into road rage. <laughs> 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 Like a drug. <laughs> yeah, my grandma actually got really into road rage last year. We've been really struggling as a family. <laughs> my name's Wendy and I miss the rage. <laughs> Hi, Wendy. <laughs> What's the... Oh, no, I'm going to have to ask her because it was really funny. It was really sweet, but I can't remember what it was. It was... No, it's gone. Oh, that's I remember it. What was it related to? I don't know. Uh, I'm, I'm not. It's not going to come back to me. I'm going to have to ask her. The suspense. Ah, rats! <laughs> God darn it! <laughs> dang it is another one. Uh, dang it! Dang it! I think is used more often than rats. Dang it! What's like an old an olden saying? <laughs> Oh, it nearly came back to me then. Olden saying. You... No, you stupid oaf! Scare <laughs> <laughs> the shit out of me! That's it! <laughs> you stupid oaf! <laughs> Those words coming out of Wendy are <laughs> magic. I think bollocks is a great word. Bollocks. Bloody hell. I hate it when American people do that. Bloody hell. Or oh, war bottle. Oh, governor. 
water bottle. Oh, get some culture. <laughs> Grow up. So when they say bloody hell or gavna. Yeah. I'm like, Ugh. I always get like my name or like, were they blue? <laughs> May. See? <laughs> May. I will call you by a full government name. Over text. What's so funny? I just imagine you reading it things like... I just glanced up because it was here. I glanced at it and I went... <laughs> Could have fucking answered me. I forgot your Christian name. I don't know your bloody baptism name. My baptism name is me. Or whatever it is called. Oh, my confirmation name. Yeah. Just to make Have sure you're actually alive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a confirmation in year six that you are actually not the devil. <laughs> Helena. Helena. <laughs> <laughs> you say something about Helen Keller. Similarity between Helen Kelly and <laughs> Helena Keller. <laughs> Got my terrible, terrible taste in mum. Men. Uh. Why? Just saying them. What's that got to do with anything? Um, I'm not too sure. <laughs> I, was, I, was going, I was going for something. <laughs> I was going for something. <laughs> It was because I saw a TikTok and it was like going to get my eyes checked because I don't know what the fuck I saw in him. Oh. That's what I was going for. I'm sorry, I'm not That's okay. <laughs> Are you baptised? I think so. Not sure. Probs. I baptised the Stella Lawyonny. <laughs> not my name. <laughs> <laughs> I baptise the Stella Leone Web. Yep. Imagine if your mum had your middle name as Artois. <laughs> Never heard that before. Oh, I wasn't joking. <laughs> so Leone Artois. <clears throat> well, I mean, it would make more sense to put the Artois before the Leone, but. Yeah, but I feel like you just got to. Up, My mum's joke is it's not Artois, it's our kid. <laughs> it's going to get I feel like the youth these days have too much confidence. Agreed. It really terrifies me. Yeah, I did not walk around like that. I wore a pair of Uggs that barely left the floor. <laughs> I mean, because <laughs> she was shuffling. Yeah. <laughs> no. Would you rather? <laughs> Would you rather wear like a jumper and joggers to bed and be comfortably warm <laughs> or like have less clothes on and have a blanket? It's like, would you rather have a jumper, joggers and socks to go to bed, but you're not allowed a duvet or a blanket or you're like scantily clad and you have a blanket? A, a blanket. You'd rather have a blanket? Oh, yeah. I feel like I'd be chilling if as long as I'm warm, I can just... I, I get that blanket all up all up in, in my person's place. All up in your grill. <laughs> all up on me. Because I, I like, I hook it. Yeah. but and put my legs around it. I just feel like I, I use it for comfort sometimes, but then I don't really need it. I love having a duvet. And I don't, I don't wear clothes to bed anyway. <laughs> Chick -a. I, I never used to be a fan of wearing like long bottoms to bed. Your long johns, <laughs> but now I really like it. I get I get much too warm. I'll, 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 I'll if I try to, I'll take them off. Yeah, I used to just wear like a top, mm. but now I'll have like bottoms with it tucked into my socks, and it's so cozy. <laughs> so cozy. It's like Victorian. So the hoodie's a bit too much though, like a top. When I was first living in Paragon, I slept in. A jumper, trackies, socks, that big beige blanket that I have, and a duvet around me because I was so fucking cold. Mm. And I told my flatmate opposite me that I was so freezing. And he, 
I didn't know how to turn the radio on. <laughs> It only came on for like 30 minutes though. Well, once I figured it out, it was fine, but I was fucking <laughs> freezing. I think one of the worst, like, one of the worst feelings in the world is when you're at a festival or you're camping and you wrap up in loads of layers and clothes and blankets because it's freezing in the nighttime and then you wake up and it's boiling. Yeah. And then I get stressed and panicked because I'm trapped in my own clothes. It. Yeah. No, that that is horrible. <sighs> That's what happened at Bournemouth. It makes me feel sick. I didn't like it at all. Because then it also like wakes you up way too early because you're like, oh, well, I'm too hot. What? <laughs> yeah. No, it wasn't. That, that's not nice. I don't like being too hot at all. I'd much rather be too cold than too hot. <clears throat> Me too. It's easier to do something about it. I also just like the feeling of, like, I don't like being fucking freezing cold, but I like the, the feeling of having a little bit of a chill. Like today when it was raining, I was going to turn my fan off and I was just laying in bed and I was like, this is actually really nice. I have my fan on basically 24-7. Me too. When I'm in there. Every time I forget to turn it off before I leave, I'm like, I'm so sorry, I've been working overtime. <laughs> I don't know, like, I always forget about it, and then when I bring it out in summer, I'll have it on for a night, and then I'm like, oh. I'll have it on, like, whilst I'm getting ready, but then when I'm just in bed all day, I have it on. Yeah. Eat. <laughs> Definitely. I just fucking love fans. You got no fans, you got no grand. Got no... I was gonna say something to rhyme that, but there's a guy on TikTok and I really like the things that he says. And does like, why would you say, um, oh, oh, I forgot the actual saying. It's like tomato, tomato, like oh yeah, it's the same like that. <laughs> and it's like, well, I've got twelve eggs in this hand and a dozen in this hand. <laughs> yeah. Like just cooler ways of saying stuff. And I can't think of any myself. Well, what are those phrases? You win some, you lose some. We've got to think of a different way of saying that. <laughs> you see foe rises, you see foe falls. Yeah. <laughs> no, or, no, no. You cake cooks, or you cake burns. Your eggs too runny, or your eggs too hard. <laughs> um, you walk and you trip, or you walk and you fine. Your food's in date, your food's out of date. <laughs> Win some, lose some. Your milk's fine. Your milk stinks of cheese. Your dog ate your leftovers. Your dog left him alone. <laughs> so he ate your dog. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday when we were at the gig, I noticed that the lead singer had his shoes and socks off. So I turned to Lewis and I went, woof! And he went, did you just bark at me? <laughs> like, yeah, I forgot to give the context on that one. <laughs> I just barked at him in the middle of a concert. <laughs> <laughs> it's only about the capacity of about 20 people because <laughs> he was in front of me as well so he was walking and you and me and he just went did you just bark at me <laughs> so yeah uh yes he got his feet out i had a wolf the fucking dogs are out <laughs> uh, Do like a realistic one. How do you? Like... I like the ones that go. <laughs> <laughs> they go bork. <laughs> that was quite good. <laughs> You're blinking like that. <laughs> Someone's scaring me. Woof 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 woof. I feel like you have to get. <coughs> I feel like you have to get your top lip. You, you have to get your top lip involved. Woof. <laughs> no, like woof, woof, woof. That's a bit like a horse. Mm. <laughs> 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 this would be quite simple to be a horse, like just having an occasional sugar cube and trotting around the field. I would get so pissed off at those flies. No, you got the whole point of your tail and your eyelashes. Yeah. How fast do you reckon you could blink in a second? One Mississippi. Seizure. <laughs> <laughs> Is one I count? I think that was quite quick. You were like that. No, it wasn't. <laughs> you were. <laughs> Your eyes were just open. Oh, there you go. <laughs> that is quite fast. I just did it so fast you couldn't see. Ready? Ready? 
So say that we were friends. This are we is, not? This is a con this is a hypothetical. Well, we are friends. So yeah. it's not hypothetical, you rude bitch. Oh. <laughs> that was mean. No, I mean hypothetically, right? If we were friends. You've got to let me finish a sentence. What's that even got to do with anything? You didn't even need to say that. If we were friends and I disappeared. Well, we are friends. So if I disappear is the hypothetical part. Yeah. You know, you say if, if we were friends. But we would. It would be in the past tense if I disappeared. I'm just say like if I disappeared because I know that we're friends. Okay, it's not right. really okay. <laughs> it's not really okay. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. It's not really all right. <laughs> you hurt my feelings. I'm sorry. <laughs> if we may maybe we're in like a a different dimension, we might maybe be friends. Do you think? You don't need to say that. Man. <laughs> you say if I disappeared. If I disappeared. <laughs> you if i disappeared just poof gone nothing and you saw you went to a dog shelter and you saw a dog that was blonde and just was like giving a, a me look would you adopt it yeah <laughs> but i would leave it a few days first i'd come and like give you a bit of false sense of hope and like i'd want you to know that i knew it was you and then i'd leave you for a few days and then i'd come back what if someone else adopted me? Game's the game. <laughs> Don't hit the player, hit the game. Not sometimes your souffle rises, sometimes it falls. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> My answer had, would have been different if you hadn't started it with if we were friends. That, it was a hypothetical universe. <laughs> It was a hypothetical universe in which we but made we're make friends friends everywhere. <laughs> it's a canon event. <laughs> <laughs> I really enjoy those TikTok those TikToks where it's like, blah blah blah. I see this guy doing this, but I can't interfere because it's a canon event. <laughs> they really yeah. make me laugh. Do you know what I think is one of the rudest things ever? What? When I'm at work and people like ask me for something. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> It's just mean. Like, you can tell I'm tired. Leave me alone. Who the fuck are those people asking for lime and sodas? Because they are fucked. They're the worst. They're like, I know we do table service and stuff, but, like, just fucking get up. <laughs> just get up. Like, use your fucking legs <laughs> and a whack. I've called last orders. You can see I've got bags under my eyes. I've been serving you for, like, six hours. Just get up. <laughs> it's rude. <laughs> I think people don't, they don't think about... And you say like, oh, no, we've done last orders, the tills are shut. And they're like, can I just have one more? No. <laughs> yeah. Like, I just fucking said, no! <laughs> Respect my boundaries! Oh, it really gets on my nerves. Like, let me just think. Oh, oh yeah, because you asked me. Yeah. <laughs> no! <sighs> Speak of shit, buddy. Yeah. What, what is he going to do? Why do they keep hiring people? It sounded like a seesaw, though. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon that is like ultimate riz. What? Across the bar. Now, some people do that thing. Oh! <laughs> You've not seen that on TikTok? No. That's what they do. They go, look at that. And, they... and I saw this boy. <laughs> I would be like, what? <laughs> teacher and she goes oh <laughs> no it's like you're gonna be in the news soon <coughs> suit um what 
was what's the funny uh, phrase for that? Right to jail. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> you ate too much food. Right to jail. You kiss a boy. Right to jail. <laughs> See, someone made a communist version of Monopoly. It's like to the gulag. <laughs> <laughs> So it's a gulag. <laughs> it's a gulag, and then it's all like rather than having money, when you pass and go, you get a potato. <laughs> <laughs> and then there was another. There was a card, and it was like, oh, what was it? It's like you won. Um, you you won the. Oh, it was something like you won the food fight, but. You don't get anything because everyone's got potatoes or something like that. It was really weird. Because everyone has the same amount of food. Yeah. <laughs> Karl Marx is the Monopoly man. <laughs> to the gulag. To the gulag. I like doing the Russian accent. Then. Probably tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Every time. <laughs> I hated that phase when everyone did that. I don't have the time for that. That's what I mean. Like, if you're gonna do it, just what are you taking time for? You know, I always thought that it was like you used to jam your finger up because it was like fuck you, like you're fucking them. Oh. That's why I thought that's when that all that started going on. I was like, what the fuck? I don't know if I think anyone's ever thought that. Ah, big it. Oh. Do the No potatoes for you. <laughs> Zero potatoes for family this week. <laughs> we will all die of the Russian cold. <laughs> Russian cold. The Russian cold. Oh God. It meant like winter, but it sounded like a Russian version of like Corona. I didn't know you meant winter. I thought you meant like a disease. The Russian flu. Oh Lord. No potatoes for you. <laughs> no potatoes for my family. We will all die as a Russian winter. None of us have bearskins to live in. None of us have bearskin hats. They live in the Tsar. No. The Tsar lives in Paris. <laughs> With his missing daughter, Stasha. We'll kill them all and get their jewels. And my family will survive the Russian winter. If you only had a potato to live on, but it had those little, like, stumpy bits on it, would you eat it? I'd just cut them off, yeah. No, you can't. Like, that's the whole point. <laughs> I've got to eat it raw. I feel like you would want to. Might kill you, but... You don't got you get potassium poisoning. Mm? You get potassium poisoning. Yeah, well, I don't think you'd really fare well eating the little nibs anyway. <laughs> but they're, they just... They're the, the sprouts. to grow new ones. Yeah, but they're just a bit mank, aren't they? I once opened one of... I think I just said mank. <laughs> They're like proper mank, yeah. Um... <laughs> I meant to say manky. I said mank. I don't like that. I feel upset. <laughs> we once... We have like a corner cupboard at home and it like the like cupboard pulls out. Um, well, it is a cupboard. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it, it pulls out like you pull the one door and the, the other door comes with it. So it opens into the corner mm. um and they they we <laughs> we, <laughs> we and the good luck found the potatoes out of grown legs <laughs> how do i sound like <laughs> we found the potatoes grown legs and grown baby potatoes from the legs we then have more potatoes into gulag. <laughs> but the original potato rot. <laughs> so the baby potatoes rot too. <coughs> so now we don't need to steal the moon. 
Would you like to go out on a date with me? Me! Me! Get it right at the back of your throat. Me! Me. Your tongue comes out when you say it. Would you like to go out on a date with me? <laughs> no. <laughs> One time when I get really drunk, I'm going to do that to someone. <laughs> Camels, do you think we're worth? I am worth 56. I searched it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm worth many more chickens, though. When I was in Egypt, I was my father was offered three camels when I was younger. And for you? Yeah. How has that managed to get up to 56? I've grown boobs. <laughs> <laughs> It's 53 other camels are just from my boobs. <laughs> An odd number, that's foul. <laughs> you have boobs, but not quite enough. <laughs> it's the one in the middle. I don't have one in the middle. <laughs> this is called a camel calculator. Right. What age is 24? How tall are you in centimetres? I don't know. Five foot six. Black hair or brown hair? Brown. Very long hair. Um, on this size chart, would be your boobs be? <laughs> like that. Your figure, sporty? Yeah. Let's calculate it. You're worth 77 camels! <laughs> 77? Ain't all, ain't all about the boobs, then. <laughs> I want to do me again. <laughs> you trying to say that it's unbelievable that I'm no, worth more camels no. than you? No! First, we're not friends, and then I'm not allowed to be more valuable in camels than you are. <laughs> <laughs> Your girlfriend is worth. <laughs> the girlfriend is worth 78 camels. <laughs> Give me a spin, darling. We're definitely a 30 camel on the range. <laughs> a spin, darling. Give me a spin, darling. <laughs> Show me the true film. <laughs> Show me what I'm working with. I do love those films where it's like, where they sit there and they're like, spin. She needs a bit of yellow. Maybe a scarf. Films? This film, that was like a generalisation of many, many films. <laughs> So vague, <laughs> unbelievably vague. <laughs> it looks like winter out that window. Oh my god, yeah. Looks like a blue light. Excuse my breathing. It is very, very musty in here. Not... <laughs> it's very mank. It's foggy. <laughs> it's mank. <laughs> it's like the gulag. <laughs> We've got too many potatoes. We will get very hot in the gulag. We all have to huddle together. They know that we're not sharing our potatoes. <laughs> they have turned off our AC. <laughs> we have to huddle together to survive the Russian winter. Gregory has bare skin. Gregory. Gregory! <laughs> not to say the accent. Yeah, but it's just not a very Russian name, is it? Maybe Gregor. Gregor has bare skin. He let us borrow. <laughs> Gregor is bad. <laughs> Gregor is Nicky. We take his skin, we eat. No potato. <laughs> Gregor has now been skinned, uh, and we eat his meat or his potatoes. <laughs> we boil the potatoes and we drink the potato water and add the potatoes back in. <laughs> and sometimes we pee on ourselves because we're cold. <laughs> I had to add that in. <laughs> That's some jellyfish, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> you thought when it's cold, it's... well, you can pee on yourself. It does make you warmer. <clears throat> if you're in a survival situation, would you drink your pee? Yep. Agreed. If you're in a survival situation, would you eat your poo? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wouldn't do that. Wouldn't. No, because first of all, I wouldn't be able to get it down, and I wouldn't want to <laughs> exert energy by vomiting. <laughs> <laughs> would you eat your vomit? No. <laughs> Gregory says no vomit. Would you eat olives? <laughs> if I was like starving, 
Mm. If it was this was like th th this was the moment, this and someone the, offered, okay. someone offered me a ceramic of olives, <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah, go on, <laughs> liar! <laughs> I knew you wouldn't eat olives. <laughs> fornicator, a dollar, <laughs> fornicator, <laughs> olive eater. <laughs> I wouldn't eat a tomato if I was starving, though. I would die. <laughs> I would. <laughs> That's sad. I had to die on my principles. <laughs> I would die on this hill. I wonder where that was come from. What? That I would die on this hill. It's not a hill worth dying on. It must be a battle thing. Yeah, it's because if you want to get the upper ground, you go to the top of the hill. And if you stand there and you think this isn't a good enough hill, this isn't a hill worth dying on. Makes sense.